Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko has applauded the work of the country's anti-corruption bureau after the arrest of the head of Ukraine's state fiscal service, Roman Nasiro. This is the anti-graft body's first attempt to persecute a high-level government official. Ukraine's tax and customs head is believed to have given illegal tax breaks costing Ukraine tens of millions of dollars in lost revenue. On Monday, a Kyiv court began proceedings in the corruption case. According to some of the latest details, Nasiro has both a British as well as a Hungarian citizenship. His lawyers are asking that the passports are not included in the case against their client. Nasirov had claimed to be suffering heart problems when taken into custody, preventing him from hearing the charges. Earlier today, the court ordered him to undergo a medical examination to substantiate his claims. Nasirov would not be the first Ukrainian politician to claim illness after being charged with a crime. It is believed that Nasirov illegally gave tax breaks to a former Ukrainian lawmaker. Following today's developments, President Petro Poroshenko offered the incident as proof of the anti-corruption agency's efficiency and independence. You're all aware that last week court proceedings began against a senior government official, the head of the country's tax service. This is a good example that Ukraine has an effective anti-corruption agency. And this is also further proof that it's an independent entity. The case brought against this top official has been made without the president's knowledge. And I think that was the main aim of creating this independent entity.